Welcome back all you beautiful people out in YouTube land. Um, this video you'll probably see after Father's Day, but uh, today was Saturday, the day before Father's Day, and Stephanie decided to get me some whistle pig and whistle pig maple syrup for Father's Day. So we're going to do it tonight and see what we think about it. We're going to try the rye first. And then we are going to try the maple syrup for it. We actually have a maple syrup from Whiskey Acres that we got. So I want to see how those two taste together. Well, not together, but comparison them. And um, I'll probably make two small old fashions. Um, one with the whistled pig maple syrup and one with the Whiskey Acres maple syrup. Now, I don't know if this is going to show up too much on here, but this is the syrup, and this is, was it Sparkle? It's a collector's edition. Is that right? Limited edition. Limited edition. So, I mean, you can see some sparkles and glitter in there, but then if you really shake it up, you can see the glitter on the bottom. Um, if any of you guys are mechanics that are watching this, you'll know that this would be a nightmare if you opened up um, to do an oil change. And you saw all this glitter in there, you'd be having a heart attack or a really good payday. <laughs> so, once it's shaken up, you can really see there's a lot of glitter in there. You see, what was the difference on these? Uh, I think it was pretty much the same price as the regular maple syrup. It was just that it was a special edition? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and that and that came together as a set. So that was a set. Okay. Yeah, but you could buy them individually, I think. Oh, and I don't know if this is showing up here. Well, that's neat. It was also a Father's Day gift. Oh, I was trying to treat it like a cork. It's a twist off. Oh. It smells maple A little bit of bourbon on there. It smells like... It smells good. It makes me want pancakes. <laughs> Alright, so... For breakfast. Actually, what I think we'll do quick... So we'll pour a little bit of each just to do a sample of it to see what it is straight. And then it's the whiskey. It's so pretty, it's sparkly. And then this is from Whiskey Acres. Out in DeKalb, Illinois. I feel like I smell more. It, this one smells more bourbon-like yeah. than the whistle pig. And to be fair, though, this has been opened already. This isn't just a fresh open bottle. This one seems that one is uh, thicker. It's cold. A thicker consistency. Because remember, oh, yeah, once we... any of these syrups are open, they have to be refrigerated, unfortunately. All right, so which do you want to try first? We'll start with the new stuff. All right. Definitely has the maple, definitely has like the pancakes and syrup. But it kind of reminds me of like a kid or a candy when I was a kid. I have no idea what it's that was. It's almost like been. those honey, like the honey candies that I like. Oh. That are like the toffee honey I think. Bit o' honey? Bit o' honey. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of those. I'd pick the whistle pig. Yeah. I agree. But the whiskey acre one did taste pretty good on waffles. Yeah, we did that on waffles. Alright. Okay. So, what we'll do right now is we won't use these glasses. <laughs> do the review of the whist Whistle Pig Piggyback 100% Rye. It's aged for six years. Um, this will now be the third rye that I have. This is actually a small batch. 
and it is 96.56 proof. So it is actually pretty high up there for some of these. Was, was Fitzel Weller, is that 80 or is it 95? Per Blade and Bow? No, um, no I said Fitzel Weller. Yeah. Oh, Sazerac. Um, I think it was 90, but I don't recall. Just enough to change the taste of this. Yeah, it, I actually smell it already. It smells very uh, fragrant. everything. I get like a fruit smell. Kind of yeah, like, a, like, a, like a caramel apple. apple. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. It tastes a little apple-y. Well, I'll give it a second try, remember? Yeah. Not that Definitely a little bit of pepper to it. You do kind of get a little bit of caramel. Mm. Yeah, maybe a little bit. It's good. I Obviously, we haven't had another whiskey right now to compare it to, but... Well, or rye. Or rye, but... You know, it's not bad. It's I'd very good. I'd probably say out of all the rides that we've had. That might be the best one. That might be the, my, my favorite yeah. one so far. I like so. it. All right. It, I do get a little bit of that hug. I get that you know, I, I, I feel it more after the fact than when I first had it. All right, so what we'll do is we'll be back here in a couple seconds. I'm going to make two very small old fashions. <laughs> so basically equal to one because we're going to do other sampling tonight too. And we'll do one with the maple syrup from Whis Whistle Pig, and then we're going to do the other one from Whiskey Acres. So we'll be right back. All right, so we made two old fashions, and it was just very, very basic. It's the whist Whistle Pig, um, bitters, and then after that I divided them out, and then I added um, one, a little bit over one bar spoon worth of each syrup to it, and then because it's maple, and then we got bacon, we added just a little bit of cooked bacon in each of them as a garnish. So, what would you like to start out with? We'll start with a whistle pig. You want to start with the whistle pig? Yeah. Okay. So, as I forget which one here, but hey, whistle pig is great because it actually has the glitter in it. Well, if you got the limited edition. Yeah, well, the limited edition, so we can tell. Yeah. I'll let you go with that one first, and then I'll go with this one. Okay. Hmm. I don't taste any of the syrup. It just, it tastes like a watered down whiskey. Yeah. I feel like the whiskey acre is a little bit smoother. Yeah, I agree. I kind of feel like in an old fashioned, I like it with the whiskey acre syrup better. I mean, we could always add more syrup. I think and go fine. Maybe next time when we do it, we'll maybe add a little bit more syrup for you if you're going to try it. Hmm. But, I mean, these are good. Yeah, they're good. So you don't like the whistle pig as much? I mean, it, the, it, uh, it's good. I just it's good. It's just... In an old fashioned, the whistle for pig, for me, yeah. You like the sweetness of it. Yeah, I do. The whistle pig... Um maple syrup is very traditional it doesn't taste super sweet i mean i've had some sweet old fashions but it's still a good old fashioned the whiskey acres is definitely sweet but smooth yeah 
They're both good. Yeah. I just like the other one a little bit more. Which one do you like more? They're both good. I mean, I think I maybe I I think I like the whistle pig. Oh, yeah. So, I'm trying the whistle pig rye. Mm -hmm. I know we said that we think that so far they're the best. Yeah. What would you rank just the whiskey on a scale of one to five? Isn't that what we've been using? Yeah, one to five. Mm, yeah, I think we've been using one to five. Um. I want two rankings. One of overall whiskeys, if you can remember, <laughs> and then I guess the other one would be for the rise. Um. For the rise. I would probably give it a 4.5 as you know out of the three that we have right. and then overall um i don't really remember what everything else tasted like other than ego rare and eh taylor and okay. i think i gave ego rare a five yeah you look it was good so i'm gonna um, try and see if this will show up while you're talking but i mean it's it's a cute little drink you can kind of see there's some glitter in there but this is again just the special edition so i mean I, I don't know i i feel like i would have to taste everything again because oh, it we're doesn't have that kind of night well no but it doesn't like stand out as oh my gosh i remember drinking it compared to something else so i guess for now because my memory is bad i'm just gonna give it like a 3.5 it's just middle of the road okay i mean if, if we were tasting other things, like right now with it, I might have a different perspective, but I mean, I don't hate it. I mean, I, I'm kind of right there with you. I would probably say 4.5 for the rise I what we have. Yeah, which is three, so, yeah, so take it like a grain of salt. And one of them is a Canadian whiskey, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, so probably just comparing it to two. Um, overall probably right there at about a four okay and maybe like three and a half four so we're kind of on the same page on that okay so, there you have it whiskey pig uh old-fashioned from them one of some of vermont's best out there um if no one got that that was from or i'm sorry vermont's finest that's from super troopers ah um, but then I think honestly for the, the sweetness, hands down whiskey acres were away from that. So Illinois finest. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, for sweetness, but just when you compared syrup to syrup, syrup I to liked syrup, whistle, whiskey, pig, whistle pig, whistle pig better than whiskey acres. Yeah. In a pig. drink, I liked whiskey acres better. So we might have to try that again because the ratio of sweetness could be different. Yeah, I mean, that's true. So, just trying to pick that off, you know, hey, Whiskey Acres might be one uh, bar spoon, and Whistle Pig might need to be two. So it's, it's hey, hey. Who knows? But, um, happy Father's Day to, or belated Father's Day to all you fathers out there, and thank you for Father's Day gift. You're welcome.